Action. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I still don't have a mic. That's okay. Actually, this video might explain why I don't have a mic. Um, ooh, I guess I can start sharing a bit more about myself if life happens to be like this. I don't know why I got excited about it. Something really sad just happened to me. Anyways, um, yo, what's good? Welcome back to the channel. Um, it's me. You might not know me, but my name is Shinobi. I'm your boy. From now on, I'm your boy, okay? Uh, I make art and I paint and, you know, that's how I live my life. I don't know what else to say. I feel like I've messed up my intro. This is not my normal intro, but... Anyways, um... It's gonna be a bit of a different video. That's That's not English. So, um, this one's gonna be a bit of a different video, right? Um, I mean, I don't really know if consistency is what I'm going for on this channel in terms of, like, video format. I mean, so far, so good. It kind of is whatever it is. But, um, yeah, it's gonna be a different video because, um, it's a reactive painting. I'm trying to paint in, in my emotions, if that makes sense, in response to something that's excuse me, in response to something that's happened to me, like, very recently, over the weekend, like I'm saying, um, let me just get to it, man, like, it's been a while, I, I never, like, let myself paint from the emotion, if that makes sense, like, I'm always, like, strategized, and, you know, I plan everything out, what's the word I'm looking for, can't think of it, just let me know, um, uh, I'm trying to think of it still, surgical maybe i don't know anyways um yeah i went to afro nation you know if you don't know about it, it's a festival for afro beats and likewise you know vibes mostly afro beats and they had the first concert in detroit over the weekend or their first um event over the weekend and it was lit you know it would have been better i had you know a lot of anticipation going into it i was excited but I got there on Saturday, couldn't find parking. So I parked, you know, in this residential area because, you know, there wasn't a lot of people around, you know what I mean? It didn't look like I was bothering anyone. And it was a weekend, so I just kind of had my hopes up. I was like, fingers crossed, I don't get in trouble. I'll just come back and get my car later. I even put a note in front of, like, I put a note on my windshield just in case anyone, you know, comes there and sees it and they're like, what the fuck put their car here? Hopefully they might read the note and be like, all right, cool, they'll be back soon. But the note might have actually beat what, the note might have actually been what put me in trouble because it kind of said I'll be back tomorrow because I needed a jump start, you know? Little mind games, but they might have assumed whatever and be like, all right, well, might as well just get it out. They might need this space before tomorrow. I don't know what it was, honestly, but whether it was the owner of the, you know, like it was an apartment complex. So I just parked in front of a garage that already had stuff in front of it. So I was assuming no one was coming out for a while. Long story short, they reported it or they called the police and my car got towed by the time I got there. So, um, yeah, I couldn't go on Sunday, which wasn't, it wasn't, that much of a bother to me not being able to go but it was more so my car and at the time i didn't let it stress me because i had hopes i was like ah, fingers crossed i just have to pay maybe 150 max you know charge it to the game bro i got there today and yeah they charged they charged me 600 even they're charging me they charged me 600 and that in addition to this morning i had a court case and the judge wasn't trying to hear me out and I had to pay, well, I'm gonna have to pay 250 for my ticket eventually too. But that one low key might have been my mistake, but at the same time, it's like, you have no patience for me right now. Cause clearly you have 10 or so other people after me today. Probably way more than that. Like I actually low key looked at his, um, his schedule online by mistake when I was trying to find my stuff. 
and yeah cool you got like clearly you're not trying to give me actual consideration and time so i mean yeah i send the e long story short that's like i'm 600 down today alone and there's 250 waiting for me to have to sort out somewhere so i'm not in the best space i'm not in a good mood because finance is woo. but i like sharing because i don't care i feel like i'm gonna get out of it eventually everything you know things come and go but in this moment where i am pissed and vexed i want to paint this painting i've been trying to paint for the longest time of fella kuti fella aniku mm, let me say that properly fella aniku lakpo kuti you know what i mean yeah i'm painting him today because that's my legend musically obviously but also like his, his songs kind of speak a lot to about what am I trying to say? It's, it, it, his songs kind of speak about um, a lot of the things I feel like I and just people in not just even the diaspora. It just kind of speaks to like the the injustice of the government. Let's say that because there's many different, many different, you know, songs I, I could pick from to like get inspiration. But long story short, I've worked to paint him for the longest time because, you know, everything he used to say when he was making music is still very relevant these days. Like about the police, about the army, you know, the government, politicians, all that stuff there. It's all very relevant. And I've just been procrastinating because I've had other ideas take precedence. But right now, I'm so angry at life and the government that it don't make sense to not paint it. So I'm just going to paint it real quick, um, you know. I don't really have a composition, I'ma just look up pictures. Actually, I already looked up pictures. So I'ma just do a collage of portraits and write some words in there, cause that's what I do when I have feelings. I mean, when I'm really feeling certain, and I don't know, like, I don't wanna try, think of a poetic way to communicate. I'ma just write it as direct as possible. You know, F-U-C-K, them things there. So anyway, it's cool. That's what I'm trying to do today. I don't know how far into it I'm going to get, but I'm going to go set up now. So, yeah. Um, it sounds like another <laughs> another plea for, for support, but it's not in it. But let me just say it in a nicer way. But um, hopefully that wasn't too much of a sub story, but life is long. Life is hard. Life is rough. And I'm a full-time artist in it. So if you're trying to support me check out my website you know there's merch in there there's 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 prints there's originals if you can afford them um there's stickers too cheap price starts from five dollars up and then you can donate too if you don't want to buy enough and you just want to send me some money i'd love that appreciate you and i've been i've had some generous people help me during this tough moment it's really been nice someone sent me 200 dollars yesterday from twitter and i just had to paint no, I had to draw her. I didn't paint her. I drew her same night on my TikTok live because I had to say thank you somewhere, you know. But yeah, man. Uh, enough talk. Let's get into the painting. You know how it goes. Um, yeah. Short time. Bless. <sighs> okay, this is like literally take eight. This is crazy. But um, to touch briefly on my paint mixing process for this one here, um, I went to, I don't tend to pre-mix my colors, believe it or not. I'm not a big fan of, you know, doing extra work, honestly. Um, and my normal process is, you know, Grisel, so I have the underpainting first and then I have space afterwards to do some push and pull with the colors when I go into glazing. I mean, you know, I don't need to, be sure of what colors I'm gonna use until I get to a color I feel good with. But with this, I want it to be a bit more visceral in my response. I wanted it to be more immediate. I didn't wanna have, um, you know, much pre-thought about what I might do to it in the future. I just wanted to respond to the songs, my feelings and the reference at the same time, you know. And if you can't tell, I'm playing Fela the whole time. So, you know, it's inspiring me because I'm hearing the lyrics. And with this one, I kind of wanted to focus on the style that I kind of created with a cardboard, a few cardboard pieces I did a few years ago where the skin jumps out in a nice way against the cardboard. I don't know, it might be the paint quality 
with a mixture of colors, I guess. So I'm kind of using the same colors as well. You know, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, and that red there too. And I'm going with this style where, you know, you can see the background, like I say, and you can kind of see how that starts off in the painting, you know, in the initial, initial stages of it. But I kind of go through this really fast, so I might have to come back later and just kind of explain my thought process, but we'll see about that. Um, yeah. So, um, as you do, I ended up spending the most time, the most amount of time on um, the face and the uh, body in general, but like mostly the face because I feel like lightness was important to like get out of the way so I could like relax and like just focus on just painting, but not really like, you know, the mental challenge of like trying to get exact likenesses or, you know, exact um, brush strokes or whatnot. So like the face was the most important part to like get done. And um, that's kind of why I put most of the energy at the start. And uh, honestly, um, yeah, it's important for me to like get likeness because again, this is a musical legend. So, it's, you know, people need to like see the face and be like, oh, I know what that is immediately. so good. Alexa, turn the volume down a bit. I'm liking the direction it's going bro, like, I'm not even lying. I didn't have any ideas for, I didn't have any ideas for. Alexa, turn the volume down a bit. It's not low. Alexa, turn the volume down. There you go. Um, yeah, I'm having more fun than I expected to have, you know, and um, I think this is going to be like the relaxing part of it, I'm just writing random words about how I feel, you know what I mean, but also I want to put another portrait right here, so I have to like find something I like you know? And, uh, I'm not gonna, you know, read too much into it. I'm gonna just do what I wanna do and then you can see it in. So, yeah, let's get back into that. today uh, it's probably gonna drip a lot I'm gonna come back maybe tomorrow or another day when I feel a bit better or maybe when I feel worse actually I don't know but I wanna save my energy and I also don't wanna overwork it right now because I like it actually it's kind of all over the place but the composition works I look like another arm so I like that bit. yeah I like how I feel I like how a lot of the things are working so far, so I'm gonna leave it here. My camera is dead, so I'm using my phone to record the rest of this right now. I don't know if I'm gonna add more to it, but if I don't, this, I guess, would be my outro. So, uh... Alright guys, so, um... It's been like about two or so days, maybe at least two days, I'd say, since um, I painted this. And 
while I was away, you know, you know, you know how you like look on your phone and just like go through your videos and your pictures of yourself painting and that. Yeah, I've basically been doing that a bit during there, and um, I noticed the shape of the the I guess the black background and just outline in general. Alexa, turn the volume down. I was gonna say I noticed that the shape kind of resembles um, the map of Africa, in it, and like it wasn't intentional. But now that I've noticed it, I feel inclined to lean into it. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Um, I don't know how it's gonna go yet, but I don't even know what I'm gonna do the outline with. But outlines with, but I think I need. I could do with a bit more white and blue some cool colors and that might just be like to fill in the gaps you know create some excitement jump around the canvas and stuff i like how it's mostly focused here even though there's not a lot happening but i don't know i could work a bit more into it so i'm gonna do a bit of that although there's another painting i really want to start today i have a strong feeling i'm not going to start it but I really want to start it. So there's a part of me that just wants to like, not do this and just start on that. But to be fair, I came to the studio pretty late today, so it's not it's not a good time to start a new painting, I'd say. So we'll save that for next time. Anyways, um, let me see how much work I can do today. All right, I'll check in later. Bless. Unless you tell them to turn Zombie Zombie no go think Unless you tell them to think uh -huh. Zombie Zombie oh zombie Zombie oh zombie uh -huh. Zombie oh zombie Zombie oh zombie, zombie. Tell them to go straight Na joro jara joro No break no jam no sense Na joro jara joro Tell them to go kill Na joro jara joro No break no jam no sense Na joro jara joro Tell them to go quench, na joro jara joro. No break, no jam, no sense, na joro jara joro. Go and kill, go and die, go and quench, go and quench, go and quench, go and kill, go and die, go and kill, go and die, go and die. So the song we're listening to right now is this iconic song, Zombie, and what of course the painting is based on. And in this song, fella. Um, creates a critique of the Nigerian government and military and the lyrics are not just words obviously but a vivid painting no pun intended on the state's control over its citizens and just listen to the lyrics for a second and I'm gonna come and explain them in a second but yeah really take a close listen <laughs> <laughs> Order. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, um, I really hope like you heard everything he said and if you didn't you can take your time and listen again or go and listen to the full track i'm not gonna promote spotify they're not paying me but you know rewind it improve my analytics thank you appreciate that but yeah so we can hear in like lines like go and kill go and die 
Go and quench. Open up. Salute. Open your hand. Left turn. Right turn. About turn. I had to sing it, otherwise it wouldn't sound right. Because that's so many lines, but... Yeah, we can see how these lines like symbolize the mindless obedience demanded by the authorities. And in my painting, there's like two parts to it. On the left, I've got like the lyrics that kind of symbolize how, you know, um, the dehumanizing nature of the military and the police, who in Fela's eyes were like mindless zombies following orders without question, right? And then in the lower right and then left together, I've got. I've got a snippet, I've kind of like put two different pictures together, obviously. In the right, I've got a snippet of a protest reflecting the ongoing struggle for justice everywhere, really, for justice and accountability. And then I've got my lyrics there kind of, that kind of symbolize, you know, where my pain and anger came from to like really inspire or even ignite, rather, me to paint this uh, so fast. Like, you know, I said in the start, all of that story, but yeah. And then in the middle, we've got NSARS that, you know, kind of reflects the the movement demanding an end to police brutality in, in Nigeria. And of course, we got the police there. They're the most abstract thing on the canvas, but I really like the effect. I, I can't lie. So, um, yeah, um, honestly, it's a, I feel like it's a powerful visual representation of the song's theme and its enduring relevance in today's world but you know you guys let me know how you feel but i hope i at least taught you something